golden puffy pastry and inside the creamiest creamy chicken and mushroom filling with a few little special ingredients. Uh, this is my version of a creamy chicken and mushroom pot pie. Just out of this world crazy good. Chicken pot pies done my way. You guys know there's gonna be a few surprises here. Uh, let's get going on the chicken part first of all. I am using chicken thighs. Now I know I've said it a hundred times, I am a thighs and legs girl. I love how juicy uh, it stays when it's simmered or baked. Um, but you could go ahead and use breast as well. Uh, you just want some nice chunks of chicken here. And I'm gonna marinate the chicken first of all. So I want some garlic. And some soy sauce. Yes, not your traditional chicken pot pie ingredient, but it's gonna add some beautiful salty umami flavors. And then a little pinch of white pepper. So I really like the white pepper here because actually white pepper is what we use in Thai cooking a lot more than black pepper. And I like that it's a little bit milder, not as harsh as like a black pepper, but you know, totally up to you guys. You could use black as well. Now give that a good mix. And then look, if you've got the time, you can leave this to marinate. I'm just gonna get straight into it and uh, start cooking. Uh, so I'm gonna add a little bit of oil into my pan. Now add in your chicken. I'm just gonna spread that chicken out in the pan so we get a nice sear on all those pieces. Anytime I'm making a sauce or a braise style of thing, it's, uh, you know, it's all about layering the flavor. So getting that nice sear, that nice color in the chicken, that's gonna give us some really good base flavor to work with. Okay, so that is looking like some good color right there. Same smell, delish. Um, all right, I'm just gonna sort of give everything a bit of a stir fry. And now what I wanna do is add in my mushrooms. Now, you wanna give those mushrooms time to get a little bit acquainted with the chicken and the soy sauce and all the good things going on in there. So after a couple of minutes, you can see the mushrooms have kind of wilted down a little, I guess, um, and released like, the chicken and the mushrooms have released some of their juices. Now, I'm gonna go in here with some sour cream. And now here's our next little unconventional ingredient, um, white miso paste. So this guy is gonna give us some extra savory kick, uh, you know, that saltiness, the savoriness uh, that you get from miso paste. It's just gonna be a little surprise background ingredient. Now just mix all of that through. You'll have to give that miso paste a little bit of help there to dissolve a bit. And then I want to gently simmer that. You've got to be a bit careful with the sour cream. It can split easily if you uh, heat it up too much. So just simmer it really gently for a few minutes and wait for everything to kind of make friends in there. Okay, so this is looking and smelling amazing. I want to thicken up that sauce a little bit more though. So I'm going to add in some corn flour mixed with a little bit of water. And then magically everything becomes thick and glossy. Last thing, I'm going to add in some spring onion. Wow, that is looking so lush, love it. All right, now I'm gonna fill up my little dishes here. About a one, one and a half cup capacity is what you're looking for here. And now for the pastry. Puff pastry is what I'm using and I'm just gonna go in here and just make some squares. drape that over the top of that dish. Now you wanna brush these with some egg. My little tip here is use just the yolks because you'll get more of a beautiful golden color that way. So make sure you get all the sides as well. and then finish off with a little sprinkling of sesame seeds. I happen to have black ones, but white ones would be totally fine too. And then just to allow some of that steam to escape inside uh, those pies, I'm just gonna poke a couple of little holes in the top there, and then these go into the oven for about 20 minutes or until that top pastry is all puffy and golden and delicious. Ah, oh, 
check out that sunshine yellow deliciousness oh wow pure joy when you see little pies like that so cute okay so let's get these out onto a little serving board and that my friends is a very easy slight little bit of a twist uh, on a chicken pot pie now let me get in here and see what's going on I can't wait Oh, smells so good. Mm, that was the biggest mouthful ever. <laughs> but wow, that creamy chicken mushroom filling is such a star. Oh my goodness. Look at how smart it's just it's just pure joy, guys. It's creamy, it's savory, it's chickeny, and then that beautiful like crusty, puffy, buttery pastry. Mm. Just out of this world, crazy good. Oh, I hope you guys love this one as much as I do. Yum.